Hello friend, welcome to the Java Puzzle. Today we are going to discuss about what is the record and what is the difference between the using of Lombok library and record. And we also see what is the limitation of the Lombok and what is the limitation of record. So just imagine here before discussing what is the Java record, let's imagine a scenario for a little time think you need to call a database and get some data from a table to do that you need a entity class right so in the in that scenario this entity class work as an object that get the data of a table in the database and carry their data throughout the application after data data was fetched to that entity class so to create that kind of entity class, you need to write some functionality in that class. So uh, this is a, let's suppose I'm creating one person class and we have to create private final variable, which will be used as a encapsulation and immutability. Then we have to implement all our constructor. Then we have to implement the getter method, then override the equal method, which are using for the comparing the object with the other object. Then we have to override the hash code method, which is which are the use for uh, used by the equal method, right? Then uh, we have to override the two string method to print the object with the value, right? These are the simple class which we have to create in an entity class and this is a lot of code to write and maintain just for storing our data to use throughout our application then other than that there is not any specific functionality here right but just for carrying data for this kind of class we call data carrier class right then we are talking about what are the record class then so in java 14 the record type was introduced and record is a new kind of type declaration it gives the ability to define classes whose purpose is to store and carry data with fewer line of code so it's look like uh, here you can see this is a record class and it's look like uh, converting the person class into a java record and this class this record class includes some following things like all our constructor uh, it's uh, including then getter method for each field then two string method equals method and hash code method then now we are going to uh, discuss about what is the limitation of the record class so as we all know that everything in this universe is not perfect so there are some limitation in the record as well first one is a record class are final so you cannot extend other classes from the record classes okay then second one is the field in a record class are also final so you cannot set value after initializing the object then you cannot declare extra field in the body except the field we declare in the record header then at last record in the java is a good and very usable feature that was introduced in a java 14 if you want to implement and keep class just for data carrier purpose right then there is a, some special feature of the record class which we can see here java record class cannot be extended as as we know that right and also other class cannot be extended by the record class because it is a final then record class can be implemented by one or more interfaces and their method can be overridden in a record class then we cannot define other instance variable other than the field that are defined in the header section then it can define our own method and also our own constructor but make sure that all the fields must be initialized in that constructor and finally record can be defined locally inside a method even like you can see here we are using record inside this 
method which is named as a sum dummy method then next thing we all know that we have a lombok library then why i will use that record class so i'm totally agree we can achieve the same thing which is done by the record just using the lombok library here you can see the example we are using this at the rate all our constructor at the rate getter at the rate to string at the rate the equals and hash code okay and in this example the person class contain constructor with all argument then getter method for all fields to string method equals method and hash code method right then you can say like when to use java record and when to use lombok so let's discuss when to use java record so if you need a class just for data carrier purpose only then you can use the java record then secondly if all the data will definitely be available and you definitely initialize all the field at the time of object creation then if you don't need to update the data inside the object from time to time but just for read only after initializing okay then if you need a data carrier object to store less amount of data uh, probably less than five field then if you have a lot of data then the header of the record class will be lengthy right and if you don't need to extend other class from the data carrier class or don't need to data carrier class to be extended that time also you can use the java record and if you have the above requirement and don't want to add extra weighted weight by adding lombok dependencies right that time you can use that record and when to use lombok then so if you need to update data inside the object from time to time while accessing and transporting data throughout the application that time also you can use the lombok and secondly if you need to extend other class from the data carrier class or data carrier class need to be extended okay because that both thing both thing cannot be happen in the java record we can do with the lombok then if you need to achieve a polymorphic behavior with your data carrier class that time also you can use the lombok then if you need a data carrier object to store lot of amount of data basically you can use a builder pattern with the lombok uh, by using the builder at the rate builder annotation very much useful if you have a lot of data and if you need only a few fields to initialize at the beginning then if data will be available for a few of record fields at the time of object creation and then the rest of the field at the latter part right and lombok is a good choice because this can be achieved by the not null annotation and required arg annotation so these are the difference between the java record and lombok so thank you for giving your time if you think this video is helpful for you to understand what is a record and what is the lombok where we have to use record and where we have to use the lombok library so please like this video share with your friend and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell for new video update thank you